Friends, in this video there will be an ultimatum review of the game Monstera, this is a play-to-earn game launched on BNB, Avalanche, Okex and Terra Networks, inspired by the game world of Axie Infinity. Today it is popular, there are a lot of reviews and guides on it. I've been studying the play-to-earn market lately and analyzing whole mountains of information in order to get the most effective understanding to start in a particular play-to-earn project. I couldn't get around Monstera. And in this video there will be an overview and a whole list of recommendations from various sources on the most profitable development in the game and a whole list of all possible ways to earn money. The beautiful world of Monstera with its rich ecosystem of assets and NFT revolves around the monsters of the Monjin. And it is aimed at creative players who like to develop in the game world with the possibility of a free start and the ability to scale to play and earn. Monjin are game characters. One is given out for free at the start and already with him you can understand the mechanics and start earning in-game tokens. The main goal is to pump up your experience, the withdrawal of tokens from the game will be available from level 11. How to pump experience? Experience is given for many different in-game mechanics. First of all, it is the performance of daily tasks, for example, to enter the game, they also give experience for this to plant their monger so that he produces food four times, attack the enemy five times, and so on. The same experience goes for pumping their monsters, they have a system of levels and abilities, and similarly for buildings. For each achievement, be it a level or a building, you will gain experience. There is also a gaming company, passing which you can earn good experience and resources, and of course battles with other players. They consist in the fact that we can select players of approximately equal rank from the table of ranks and attack them, after the attack we have an enemy map available and the opportunity to place our manjins on the map. Next, the battle takes place in automatic mode. In case of victory, we get the resources accumulated by the enemy, and in case of defeat, we lose rating points, by the way, the resources that we manage to recapture remain with us. The gameplay is quite fun and creative, partly like in traditional games, Players reveal their creative potential for the development of their lands in order to balance production, defense and attack. It is important to think over your tactics. To do this, watch the video, I have collected and combined the main recommendations. It is also worth noting that game events are often held, where you can earn good money, often even in stables, and not only in game tokens and paraphernalia. For example, two events are currently taking place, this is a promo together with Avalanche with a prize pool of $3,450 in USDT. There are three sections, one of them is 300 prizes randomly for the participants who started playing. For 10 USDT, top 5 high level players and top 3 who brought more friends during this event. And the second event is football, you can bet on the results of football matches. In general, the game has a wide ecosystem with various regular events in which there are ways to earn in-game tokens. You can also invite to earn in the DAO, that is, in the referral program and token staking, watch to earn in Mons TV. Players can also earn alone in adventure mode, earn seasonal competitions by competing with the community in Battlefront, participate in clan wars with their friends, go through clan dungeons together and receive prizes and challenge through boss challenge, which is unlocked at level 10. You will need a MetaMask wallet to play you can register either with a wallet or with a Google account. But please note that in order to play the mobile version, you need to link your mail in your personal account in addition to your wallet all the traffic is happening on your personal land plot, this is a piece of land in the world of Monster. The plot increases with increasing level. As I said in the game Monstera, the main characters are called, Manjin. Each Manjin has a unique rarity created by unique DNA codes. These creatures can be used either to produce food, or to defend in a watchtower, or to attack in attacks, defenses, or raids. There are five different races of Manjin in the world of Monstera. Beast, Tectos, Mystic, Celeste, Chaos animals defend themselves better than they attack thanks to their hard scales. Tectos possesses more power than any other race. Mystics have the ability to perceive and control battle auras, which gives their owner advantages over opponents. Each race is divided into different rarities, general, unusual, rare, epic, legendary. Manjin is generated randomly by combining six different body parts Manjin also have a characteristic, morality. You have to take care of your Manjin from birth and plan a combat schedule to maximize morale. 
Manjin stats will increase or decrease depending on the morale status. Each morale status will determine the range of positive or negative values of the Manjin characteristics. And the status of morality changes every 8 hours. The moral status is affected by the loyalty of Manjin and the number of battles in which Manjin participated. The value of loyalty is affected by the following actions, reset after each transfer or trade between users. Increase by feeding or developing, or consuming skill stones. Slowly increase, winning the battle. The level is the statistics of Manjin growing up. Each level of Manjin needs a certain amount of food. Where to get food next type in rarity of buildings land core, breeding den, hatchery, farm, food storage, habitat, training ground, the higher the rarity of the land plot, the higher its characteristics. Every Manjin needs a place to live. Therefore, for each Manjin, you need to purchase a habitat house. Because there are different races of Manjin, then the habitats are also divided by race land core is the most important building of the game, which determines the size of your island. The larger the size of the island, the more buildings you can place on it. If you plan to earn more and play more efficiently, it's better to buy epic land core right away while their prices are low. A warehouse is needed to store food. The higher the warehouse level, the more grapes you can store. Food is needed to improve your manjin and buy assistants that are used in battles. Food can be obtained in several ways one by sending manjin to the farm to get food, second, fighting with other players or passing the company. The second method is much more effective the game provides the mechanics of crossing your manjin to get new ones. Please note that the number of crosses for all manjin is limited. You will not be able to cross it more than the specified amount. The training camp is needed to train the assistants, manjin troops, which they use in battles token withdrawal is available from level 11 now the recommendations that I managed to collect. 1. There is a staking in the game and if you hold the MSTR token, you can stake it for 100-200% of the year. It is bought on a pancake, the address of the contract is in their official resources. The project has a YouTube channel, a very developed Twitter, Discord, Facebook, TikTok and of course Telegram chat. 2. Some develop a strategy for growing Manjin for subsequent sale on the gaming marketplace. 3. How to save on commissions in the game If you registered in the game no more than a week ago, then you have the opportunity to save 5-10% to on in-game commissions using the referral program. Use my referral link and you will receive this discount in the game. If you have a lot of purchases and sales in the game, then you can save hundreds of dollars on commissions as a result. Never feed the Manjin completely Never feed the Manjin completely, as there are quests to feed the number of Manjin. For example, I had to complete a quest to feed 7 Manjin, and I had all the fully fed ones, I had to buy a lump of cheap first level unfed ones, since it cost 10 times more to pump my Manjin. There are also quests to feed the Manjin a certain amount of food, and if you have them fed, then you will not be able to do this. Don't sell single celled farms Do not sell single celled farms, as there are quests to collect food several times a day, October 20th 30, minus 100 times. Unicellular farms are sold only by players with a unicellular brain. The best way to collect food on epic and rare farms, is to pump them up to level 12 and put them on the third line for the night to collect food. Settle two races in epic habitat To settle two races in epic habitat, it must be upgraded to level 6. Stay at level 29 in battles It is better to stay longer at level 29, since further levels are very difficult and it will be problematic to complete a quest to collect food. Tips on turrets and observation towers You need an alt skill on turrets on watchtowers, normal, or there may be a MNG, TRP or any skill decor arrange the decor correctly. Decor will help you to save hundreds of MSTR on defense, attack, on the amount of harvest. Sometimes it is more profitable to put decor to farms than to buy a new farm, which will need a habitat and three manjin. Please note that all tops have decor. The decor should touch at least the corner of the building to which it belongs. Minimum set of buildings for the game I would advise everyone to start playing without any investments at all. By level 11, you yourself will begin to understand what you are missing and what you are up against and whether you need it at all, because this game is not yet comparable to income. So far, everything is only for the future, I don't think anyone has already paid off. If money allows, then buy. 1 epic land core 6 epic eggs 1 epic hatching 10 pcs of lumpy farms to quickly and effortlessly make a daily 1 or more epic farms 1 and more epic warehouses